Welcome to the Hustle Project Podcast. My name is Ben Lovro, your host. This is where we match the frequency of our dreams in order to meet reality, sharing some of the best kept secrets and insights by interviewing fellow entrepreneurs from across the globe. We are focused on helping people move forward in their journey so that they can reach their true potential, making a difference in their communities and leaving a lasting impact on the world. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Ben Lovro, and you are listening to the Hustle Project Podcast. Episode number one, our first installment. I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you a little bit of the inspiration behind the Hustle Project and also give you a piece of my story so you can better relate and know who I am and where I've come from. The Hustle Project was born off of the notion that you can do anything you've set your mind to. I believe that each and every one of us was created with and for a purpose, and we all have this unlimited potential living deep inside. But learning how to draw that potential out over time is one of the major barriers that we experience in this life. Once you're able to harness the power behind your mindset, I believe everything begins to change. You see, your mind is a very powerful thing, and once you realize the power behind your thoughts, you start to become very careful about what you allow yourself to think about on a consistent basis. See, the very thoughts that we put out into the universe have a way of manifesting themselves into an outward expression within our lives. This is why I feel it is so important to have a vision. You see, without vision, the people will perish, as it says in Proverbs. Vision is being able to identify your goals and setting up a plan where you can essentially reverse engineer those goals and create a roadmap to get you from where you are to where you want to be. And this podcast is set out to become a tool and a platform for people to cultivate an environment that encourages them to grow on a consistent basis, to listen to different strategies and tips from entrepreneurs across the globe. Because the essence of life is growth And it's that constant progress that keeps us alive. So I encourage you, as you're listening to these episodes and digesting some of the information, that you have a pen and a paper handy. Because the smallest decision or something as simple as a piece of advice could dramatically change the course of your life forever. And just to be completely transparent, my life has not been all sunshine and rainbows. You know, I didn't crush it in school, get a degree and get some high position or become a business owner overnight. I had my own struggles. You see, in high school, I used to make a lot of poor decisions. I ran around with the wrong crowd and found myself making spur of the moment decisions because of the environment that I had immersed myself around. By the age of 22, I picked up a case and ended up spending five and a half years in prison which long story short was the best thing that ever happened to me. This is where God got a hold of my heart and transformed my life from the inside out. It gave me vision for the future and filled me with this inner passion that I wanted to share with the world. You see, each and every one of us has a story to tell, but in most cases we don't realize that until we're asked to tell it. You are the author of your life, and every decision large and small have a compound effect and will ultimately determine where you stand tomorrow. Now this brings us to one of my favorite parables. It's an old Navajo story talking about two wolves that live inside each and every one of us. It begins with a grandmother who's sitting with her grandson explaining to him that one of these wolves that lives inside is full of anger and jealousy and has this hatred from within. And no matter what it seems to do, bad things seem to happen. Bad things follow. It's like living with a glass half empty mentality. In my mind, this is a scarcity mindset. But there's also this other wolf that lives inside of us. Now this wolf is powerful beyond measure. It's full of love and compassion. And it speaks with positivity. And naturally, 
good stuff seems to flow from it, which is a perfect example of how positive energy channeled in the right direction can take you to amazing places. Now, at the end of the story, the grandson thinks for a minute and he asks his grandmother, so which wolf wins the battle, grandma? She gently replies, the one you feed, grandson. I've carried around this story for years and I remember learning it way back in school, but it never really sunk in until recently because I realized that each and every one of us has these two wolves living deep inside. There's constantly a battle for that space within your mind. And if we're unable to grasp that positivity and channel our emotions in a positive sense, then we're going to allow ourselves to be controlled by our environment. And our circumstances are going to determine the way that we think, feel, and act, which ultimately has a negative effect on our life. But sometimes in order to move forward, we must connect the dots moving backwards. The past can be our greatest teacher as long as we're willing to address it with the right mindset. So in a lot of these upcoming episodes, we're going to touch on some universal success principles, but we're also going to ask some hard to answer questions because I believe that the value behind our questions will determine the quality of our lives. And it's also important to be able to view different situations through other people's eyes because they might have different experiences, different points of view, different qualities that they're able to pull out of certain situations. And in many cases, it can save you from making the same mistakes. As entrepreneurs, we're constantly expanding, constantly trying to grow and make ourselves one step better than we were yesterday. And one way to do this is by modeling. It's by modeling people who already have the success you want. People that are in the same industry or the same niche who have constantly worked on perfecting their craft and become an expert in their field. And through these spur of interviews, it is my sincere hope to add extreme value to your network, to help you find your discipline and work through your craft to make you a much better leader, much better investor, much better business owner, parent, spouse, whatever your position in society is, it's my goal in order to help you ask some of those hard questions and transition your capacity to lead to much greater lengths. Please make sure to share this content with your people, with your network, and feel free to reach out. I'm always open to questions and I love building new relationships. I believe that the quality of our network will determine our net worth, not only with our finances, but with our knowledge, with our ability to inspire change, to seek truth, and to continue growing into the person that we were created to be. You can find us on all platforms or feel free to check out our website at hustleproject.com. Never lose sight of your vision, never stop pressing towards your goals, and continue to lay that foundation brick by brick. Great things take time. Yeah. Invest in the dream. Hey. I work hard every day. Yeah, yeah.